afternoon everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day it is sunday it's about 50 something degrees about 53 or so and i am getting prepared for our camping trip tomorrow so i have been busy so i'm going to try to record as much as i can for you to show you everything we're taking and um first thing i'm going to show you is some of the foods we're taking so yeah let's get to that all right, everyone, so I have on the counter uh, some of the foods we're taking. Actually, this is a lot of what we're taking or a good portion of what we're taking. Uh, we will be stopping at the grocery store. It's uh, called the country store there in town. And we're going to be picking up some nice tenderized pork chops. They actually have the best. So we're going to pick up some of those there, some hot dog buns um, and uh, coffee cake. So, so, yeah, let me show you what I got here. All right, so the snacks, first off, I got some candies, Three Musketeer, Turtle, Reese's, M&M's, those orange slices, and Glenn loves his Twizzlers. So I got him some Twizzlers and Lifesaver Mints, Winter Green. Um, sometimes you just want, I need a snack while I'm driving. Uh, I get a little sleepy when I'm driving, so just want to have some snacks. All right, um... Let's start off with tacos. We're going to have tacos while we're there. Got some crunchy taco shells. And I got some street, street style or street size flour tortillas for soft tacos that I like. Uh, we're taking the ground beef that we received at the food pantry. This is that grass fed stuff. Um, tastes fine to us. So, so yeah, uh, we got some thin shredded cheese. We got some tomatoes, lettuce. Uh, we're going to be using pato sauce in the taco meat, so that take care, takes care of the tacos. Uh, for one of our lunches or something, we're going to have some uh, hot dogs. Uh, we did get these from the food pantry, so we're using up some food pantry foods. Um, I did make some stuff this morning. We have a supper salad here, and I do have a video on this already, so I'll leave that link to that video in the description below if you want to check it out. So we'll have some supper salad. I also made a pot of chili. Uh, yes, Glenn likes spaghetti in his chili. So I made a pot of that. And we have some of each left over that will just be eaten today. I've already had some supper salad. Glenn had some chili already. So that's what we're going to basically eat today. So I don't have to make anything else. So we have some pre-made food there that I made. And uh, Glenn likes his diced tomatoes with green chilies in it. So I'm going to take a can of that. And I just diced up some uh, cheese. Because I, I like more cheese in my uh, supper salad than Glenn does. And I'll probably dice up more ham for him. He likes more ham. Um, we got the thing of coffee. Coffee creamer. And I did pack some tea bags. I have my regular Lipton tea bags. And Glenn has his flavored tea. I'll uh, show you what he likes, but um, basically all this stuff is staying in the trailer for the summer. So <laughs> uh, taking some sugar and coffee filters and a tablespoon measuring spoon. That's what I use to uh, measure how much coffee I put in Glenn's uh, when I make his coffee. So um, over here, condiments. I'm going to take... Uh, Miracle Whip, I may put it in something smaller um, because the supper salad gets dried out, so you usually have to add some more Miracle Whip or mayonnaise, whatever you use. Um, these are the bottles I bought at the Dollar Tree to help uh, downsize the uh, big size bottles. Uh, these are more tall and skinny. I got this full of ketchup. I got sour cream in here. This is Glenn's Taco Bell hot sauce. He likes his green olives. He likes his relish on his hot dogs. And these are the ones I bought from the Dollar Tree, too, that I was going to use for my soy sauce. But we're not making rice this time around, so I'll just buy some more. Uh, I put uh, bait, uh, yellow mustard, mild taco sauce for me. And this is horseradish mustard, uh, if Glenn wants to use it for his pork chop or anything. Oh, and... Uh, just a stick of butter. I don't know what we'll need it for, but 
But yeah, that is uh, a lot of the food that we're going to be using. So, yeah. Um, I already hooked up our, our portable refrigerator in the trailer. And I've got sodas in there right now. I'm going to put the chili and the supper salad in there. And anything that needs to be refrigerated will go in there right away. It's plugged in. It's at like 32 degrees. So... I will show you that also, but this is the first batch I'm throwing in the trailer, so stay tuned. Now this is the kind of tea Glenn likes to drink. It's Egyptian licorice mint, spicy and sweet. So yeah, he does add some sugar to it, and he said it tastes better that way. Uh, so yeah, this is what he likes to drink. He got this on Amazon. And I do have a link to this this one in the list of Amazon products in the description. All right, everyone. So I am just about done uh, getting everything packed up for our camping trip. <laughs> Man, uh, seems like a lot, but it's the uh, initial camping trip of the season. So it's just a matter of putting everything in. And then after that, um, everything pretty much can stay in. So uh, I'll show you what we have and what we take camping and basically a lot of it is some just stuff we leave in the truck and or the converted cargo trailer all summer long uh, because even if we just go out for one day of fishing and just a day trip out uh, we still pull the trailer with us so we'll always have our portable fridge with us with drinks, food, whatever, okay? So let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, so uh, you're looking at the back of the truck, which is where I sleep. Uh, you can see a sleeping bag here. And yeah, I've got two pillows. I leave one up front. Uh, so when I have to get in the climb in the truck, I can just put it on the tailgate here because it's kind of rough. And then that's a little softer on my knees. So. Uh, we usually take two folding chairs and the other ones in the garage I'll still put it in but two folding chairs uh, this is a folding table and we have our big fishing net back there and these are two sorry about the sun it's real strong right now these here are two uh, folding tables little canvas ones and this is a folding table so this is a aluminum folding table. It's pretty sturdy. And then these are just canvas uh, little side tables for your sit wherever you're sitting down. So, all right. And you can see we have a platform there and some stuff underneath. So let me, uh, let me put the phone down so I can uh, use both hands and show you what we have. Okay, so starting off on this side, this is our camp stove. And we, that's where we keep it. It's basically uh, a two burner, two burner stove. I don't know if you can see it very well from there. But, yep, two burners. We've had that a uh, hmm, couple years now. So... Okay, and sometimes I'll actually uh, just cook on top of here, just have a camp stove here. All right, and I've showed this stuff before, but uh, I have a lot of new subscribers that may not have seen it. So you can see, let me see if I can shadow it. We have a little hook here and some paracord that we tie to it so we just pull that out and it's tied to the tote there just drill the hole and put it in there all right so we'll pull this out show you what i got all right okay so this uh, this is a long tote a little over half the length of the tailgate here and in here, I'll show you what we carry. 
and this stuff pretty much stays in here all the time so if we go somewhere we have it all right so we have six cans of uh anti-back wet wipes and this stuff here uh is for these these are these are our thermocells, which are mosquito repellents. They take uh, little bottles of fuel and some pads there. You can see this blue pad right here. The pads go there and the fuel goes, take this off and put the fuel in there. They work really well. We, uh, we always like to have two of them. So, so yeah, we have a whole stash of... Uh, bottles and pads there. So those are our thermocells, anti-back wipes. Um, these are just uh, matches, real long matches. Uh, we have a long big lighter, some mosquito spray. These are uh, fish kebab sticks. This is a little buzz um, what's it called? Uh, uh, basically there's a light right there and, oh, it's a zapper. That's what it is. It's a bug zapper. So we actually, uh, this is charged, USB charged. We hang this up in the cargo trailer at, and it just basically, uh, catches little bugs and, uh, mosquitoes and things like that. And this is our bag of first aid stuff. And this is a little lighter, and this is what I use inside the back of the trailer or back of the truck. Here, I have a hook on the ceiling, and at night I just uh, hook this on there. But I'll probably have to charge it. So that's that. And we always carry some Gorilla tape with us. We have some paracord, three strands. A pack of hand sanitizer. This here is a 300 watt power inverter. So what this is, you can see it has, oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. You can see it has two 110 outlets there. So what this is, it has a, you p plug it in your, uh, cigarette lighter and then you it basically inverts this into 110 so you plug this into your cigarette lighter and then you can plug anything in there like uh, if you need to charge or plug in your laptop um, and pretty much anything so that's a 300 watt inverter as long as it's in that 300 watts so that's what that is uh, this is camp fogger, <laughs> basically a fogger. Um, last year, it was really bad for uh, flies at the campground in September. And I mean, hundreds and hundreds of flies actually just like, it's, it was crazy. We had to get a fogger to spray around camp. Um, this is the little pack of Bic lighters I hauled at Walmart. Or, yeah, Walmart. Uh, this is a pack of long stem lighters. And this is that box of uh, matches. We carry uh, a bag with match packs in there. And then this is the other pack of matches. Toilet paper. We got more, don't worry. <laughs> um, this here is a little burner stove. Yes, it's tiny. It assembles here. Let me see right there. You just assemble it, and it takes one of these canisters. Um, usually, we'll just heat water up on there or something if we don't pull out the stove. So that's good for like survival. Just keep it in here. Always have it. We got two containers for it. All right. So that's a. Uh, yeah, that's basically everything in there. And this stuff just stays in here all the time. So, all right, we'll move on to the next totes.
Alright. So we got uh, more totes under here. We actually have two that pigtail off each other. So we will pull those out. And again, it's not on the hook right now, but again, we have a hook right there, which this just loops into there. So let's pull these out. See what we got. There's one. And you can see the string comes out of the back of that tote, the paracord, and goes to the next one. You can pull the next one out. All right, so we'll do this one first. Let's see what we got in here. This would be our kitchen, <laughs> so to speak. So, okay, uh, carry some storage bags here, quart and gallon size. Uh, Glenn's got some uh, coffee bags down here. We've got, uh, if you ever heard of forks, spoon on one end, fork on the other. Then we got some regular forks here. Uh, we got some seasonings, pepper, onion powder, seasoned salt, salt, uh, crushed red peppers, and then we'll throw in cayenne pepper for Glenn. We got a bag of plastic utensils. We got some bigger utensils, tongs, ladle, wooden spoon, spoon, things like that. We got some, uh, we got two bowls here. We got some paper plates and we have two camp plates. Underneath we have our cutting board. We have a couple steak knives there. And this stuff, uh, now that we're starting camping again, this stuff stays in here. So when we come back from our camping trip, I'll, if we use the plates or the real forks or anything or the knives, I'll bring them in the house to wash them real good, but they'll come right back out. A spatula, salt, we got a can opener, we got a potato pillar. So yeah, this is our mini kitchen. Oh, we got some tin foil down here too. So that's our mini kitchen. Move that out of the way. And this is just uh, my clothes. <laughs> yeah. I don't need a lot. Got a couple pairs of pants, a couple t-shirts, socks, under, underclothes, q-tips, underarm alarm, hairbands, things like that. So, so yeah, I don't really care about clothes. I'm not one that's bothered by, uh, I need a lot of clothes or a lot of shoes. I got my foot or my sandals on and Hopefully that's what I can just continue to stay to wear. <laughs> All right. So, and the reason we hook them on here is when we're driving so they don't slide all the way to the front and then we have to dig them out. So that is the back of the truck. Yeah, that's about it. On the back of the truck, I'll take you in the back seat and see what we got there. All right. So in our truck, the back seat we have down, so we have more storage space here. Uh, we take Glenn's thermos, his coffee cup, we've got some propane over there. Over here we've got sodas, more propane. Uh, propane is mainly for his little buddy since it still might be cold outside. Um, we want to have enough propane so he can uh, put his little buddy heater on. And this tote here, over there, we just got uh, some jackets and one frying pan and a saucepan. No big deal. Uh, and a hat. <laughs> so in here, this is our stash of candy. Uh, got some, uh, a bag of beef stew. And this is all just in case. Uh, one of our meals, our lunch is going to be hot dogs. Uh, we'll either have just regular hot dogs or if we decide to put this chili on it, it has some chili cheese dogs. Got a pack of toilet paper. 
got four paper towels. Uh, we got Glenn, the coffee pot for Glenn here. We got the George Foreman. And we're going to warm up the hot dogs on there and cook the pork chops on there. We're not bringing the grill this time. As we get on, uh, as we get deeper into the camping season, we'll, I'm sure we'll bring the grill more often. But got some uh, hand soap. Oh, I'll bring some dishwashing soap. Just got a scrub brush. And these bottles of oil are used oil. They make great fire starters for campfires if you're having trouble. So I, we just like to carry those around in case we need something to help us start a fire. So that's that coat. And next we'll go into our converted cargo trailer. Let's see what we got there. I'll show you our portable refrigerator. And we still got some room here. So either the fishing stuff will go here or another tote that carry the, the jack stands and all that stuff once the trailer is hooked up. So, all right, so let's take a look at the trailer. Oh, just a quick look in the front. In the front on the driver's side where I sit, I just carry some work gloves in case I gotta uh, do carry something, wood or whatever. Got some fish fillet knives. Got a tire pressure reader down there for checking our tires, our tire pressure gauge. Um, yeah, it's basically nothing. <laughs> Glenn on his side's got fishing uh, stuff, so nothing much there. Let's go to the trailer. Okay, this is the side door of the trailer. Uh, Glenn, Glenn pretty much made himself a doorstop here. <laughs> All right, so let me see. I'll turn the light on. We do have it hooked up to our uh, shore power. <laughs> uh, we have it connected in the garage to give it power right now. Uh, Glenn is pre-camping, <laughs> so we have Glenn in the trailer already. That way, when we get up tomorrow, not much has to be done. Um, yeah. So this is pretty much on the countertop, Glenn's uh, charging station. He's got a little heater here. And I also have a heater for the back of the truck for the cold nights. Uh, we just run an extension cord to the back of the truck. We did that last fall when we, when we uh, camped into October and the nights were really cold. So he's just got himself a power strip, his laptop. Uh, he's got a drone. So that's his drone bag. So he hasn't uh, tried the drone yet, so he's going to try it out first time this trip. Hopefully we can get some really nice footage for you guys to see. So yeah, it's uh, all Glenn stuff. His bed. And this is under the countertop here, which is all storage space. So he's got a little garbage can here. We've got, uh, let's see if you can uh, see that. We've got two five-gallon jugs of water. That one has a hand pump on there. So underneath here, if the fishing stuff goes in the truck, then the other tote will go under here. Um, so right now we keep it clear. Um, and when we're camping, we keep it clear down here because... Um, Glenn usually slides this table underneath there at nighttime. So under the bed, oh, sorry about that. We have a tote there. Oh. And that has extension cord, uh, fix you flat. Uh, bungee cords, uh, these are leveling blocks, so anything like we have tie downs, um, anything you might need in an emergency situation, this is our 30 amp plug, so we just plug this into the uh, end of our cord, not this cord, but I'll show you that cord, it's a 30 amp cord, so uh, 
There's our uh, breaker box down there. It has an outlet there. I think once we get to the campsite, I'll give this a good sweeping. We do like to carry a broom with us because it gets really dirty really fast. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. I'm just swinging the camera everywhere. Underneath the bed over there uh, is tote with Glenn's clothes. I have some towels in there. And uh, in case it rains and the floor gets messy, then I can wipe it up at least. And that's his camera bag and electronics bag. All right, so we'll go around to the other side. And right here out the side door, um, we usually put these little steps here. Little steps here. Glenn doesn't go up this door. He just uh, rows his scooter in the back door. But if I had to get up there, I just use that. And then at night when I go to the truck to go to sleep, I'll take these steps and take them to the back of the truck so I can hop up on the tailgate. Okay, so this is where Glenn would roll up into the trailer on his mobility scooter and we carry a extra piece of board uh, so it's not such a hard push up there. All right. And then... Then we come in, all right, and like I said, I'd like to have a broom there. And this is just Glenn's closet. Uh, we still have some cool days and cool nights, so he'll still carry some heavy stuff to keep him warm. This is supposed to be a spice rack, but um, that is coffee, his coffee creamer, our tea bags coffee filters, our thing of ketchup over there, our sugar, our pato sauce for our taco meat, our taco shells back here, our flour tortillas, our diced tomatoes with green chili, some tomatoes. This is actually a sensor light, a little blue light. So in the middle of the night when Glenn has to go to the bathroom, he gets up as soon as he gets up, it'll detect him and go on, so it gives him a little night light to walk to the toilet with. And this cord here, see a cigarette lighter. This plugs in the back of this portable refrigerator. And this and will plug into our Jackery, which is our power supply unit. And you'll see that. Uh, we'll, we won't bring it out till tomorrow morning when we're ready to go. So, this is our portable refrigerator. Get some more light. So yeah, this is called the Iceco JP50, and this is just an insulator. So you can use it as a freezer or refrigerator, or if you get the temperature right, you could probably do both. Uh, keep the stuff on the bottom frozen um, But we're kind of testing that out right now <laughs> So this is what it looks like So I'm testing it out. I don't see any of the ice melting yet So we have all our food that I went through on the countertop with you got our condiments there our meats in here yeah, so the ice is stained ice, and the, everything else is not freezing, so it's working out pretty good so far. Um, I've got it full of drinks, water, soda, all our meats in here. So, so yeah, this is so, let me close it, this works out pretty good, so we don't have to carry a cooler and worry about uh, refilling ice all the time. You just plug this in and when we're traveling to the campsite the campsite's probably hour and 20 minutes away and but we want to keep this plugged in we still need it powered so it's working on the way there and that's where our power supply unit comes into play so the, it'll get plugged into that and that'll keep it going until we get there it'll keep it going for a long time um, but we just needed to keep going till we get there and then we can plug in the shore power.
So, so that is our portable refrigerator. And it'll stay here from now on. It's going to stay in here and keep our food in there. So we're not constantly having to pack up um, food and drinks and things like that. Because in the summertime, even when we're home, we're outside all the time. So we can practically um, work out of this refrigerator in the summertime. And then when we go out for our daily trips, like if we just go fishing for a day and we're out and about, we'll always have this and we'll have food and drinks in there. And our power supply unit will keep it powered for us. So, yeah, there it is. We are ready to go camping. All right, folks. So we have Glenn here working on his RC car. Um, so yeah, he's he's been out here all day working on this. Hi, folks. So there he is saying hi, and that's probably all you're gonna get from him because he does not like to be on camera, and he's not a talker. <laughs> but he's got that beautiful smile. So, <laughs> all right, say bye to Glenn. Take care. Have a good night. Okay, so this flag here, um, when we're home, we put it on the house, but when we're camping, or even we go out for a day, we take it with us. So when we're camping, it goes on the trailer. All right, everyone, so that is it. Packing up for our camping trip. I've showed you pretty, I think that's everything except the fishing stuff. We don't normally put that in till the morning. Um, so, and I got to pack my camera stuff up tonight and charge all my electronics. So, other than that, that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video of our uh, camp pack-up <laughs> day. I'm, uh, I'm beat. I've done everything now. I think we're set. If we're not, oh, wow. <laughs> so, um... By the time you see this video, we're going to be camping already. So thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and all my other videos. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I'll be vlogging while uh, we're camping. So, and I think this time I'm also going to do some nighttime vlogs when I go to bed and get in the back of the truck. I may just chit chat um, from there and yeah. I think we'll do that, try that this time. So thank you so much for all your support. And remember to live life. Be good to yourself and be good to others. Until next time.